Um, so, okay, I'll start. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. My name is Nicholas Teo, and this is my 12 month progress review, confirmation of candidature at Swimming University of Technology. Um, and I'm doing a PhD in the Design and Technology Department. So, this is my research question. Um, I'll read it out very quickly. How my transcultural values of love and rom-com television shows affect the experience of mate selection for local and migrant Chinese in Singapore? As highlighted in this slide, there are three main aspects to this to this research question that I've been I've looked at, um, and these three main aspects also reflect the design anthropology ethos. Firstly, which is which is that design translates values into tangible experiences. Um, in terms of values, we're looking at values of love. Design, we're looking at rom-com television shows, and experience of mate selection is the experience tangible experience. We're looking at. For my literature review, there were two major themes that I that were highlighted in the literature. Firstly, that transcultural values affect the openness and hindrance of romantic relationships. Um, what transcultural values are are as defined by Fernando Ortiz in 1942 is the coming together of two cultures and three processes happening simultaneously. Firstly, acculturation, which is the acceptance of a new culture. Deculturation, which is the loss of a particular culture. And neoculturation, which is the emergence of a new culture. The other aspect of this um, theme um, I'm looking at is also mate selection, which literature defines as the partner choices that someone makes when it comes to a long-term or short-term relationship. But for my research topic, I'm looking specifically at long-term relationships. So for the ranges of transcultural values, I'm looking at Singaporean transcultural values and Pan-Asian Confucius transcultural values. The reason why Singaporean transcultural, uh, Singaporean has transcultural values is because it's of its East, East and West cultural hybridity. The eastern aspect of it is because of its um, strong Asian population, which is mainly 70% Chinese, and we include the Malays and the Indians as well. For the western aspect of the Singaporean transcultural values, we're looking at the British uh, colonization. Um, they left in the 1960s. Um, we're looking at American consumerism, and we're looking at English as the main language. So the first language that's taught in schools is actually English, so not Chinese or, or Mandarin, as some people might think. Um, in terms of the mate selection range, we're looking at openness and hindrance to mate selection. So with we've I found about four main areas. There were four main areas of focus in terms of this theme that we're looking at here. Firstly, that Singapore documents show that openness to relationships are promoted by local Singaporean government. Next, in, uh, in opposite to that is that Singaporean women's entry to the workforce and rise in education affects satisfaction and expectations of mate selection, which hinders openness to romantic relationships. The other area of focus is that Pan-Asian Confucius values hinders openness to relationships because of its strong beliefs in harmony and filial piety, which promotes women as nurturers of their fathers, husbands, and, and their sons. This is interesting because with Asian television shows, these values are very prominent com as compared to their Western versions such as sex in the city. And because of these, why these shows are popular um, this is interesting because of its popularity, especially with, with Asian women. Uh, and the area that I'm looking at specifically, or my area of focus is 
looking at the Singaporean and Pan-Asian Confucius transcultural values that help to promote openness to romantic relationships. The next theme that literature has, uh, I've identified in my literature mainly is that media impacts mate selection on a personal and social level. Firstly, media studies specifically looks at the impact of media on a personal, personal level um, and in contrast to that, the field of anthropology looks at the impact of media on a social level. Um, the difference between media studies and anthropological studies is that media studies relies heavily on psycholo a psychological approach, whereas anthropological, anthropological studies relies on an ethnographic approach. Um, as, uh, in terms of the other area within the literature is also looking at media, in terms of general media, compared to specific genres media. So the four, again with this theme there are four areas of focus. The first was that literature surrounding social and general media looks at the changing gender roles. Literature also looks at general media and how it shows correlations on personal values of sexuality, violence, body image and others. Next, we're looking at psychological studies and how they explore the impact of romantic theme media on personal values relating to romantic relationships. My area of focus with this, within this theme is looking at social values of love and how they're impacted by the specific genre of romantic comedies. So some might ask, why romantic comedies? Because, and how is this significant? Firstly, my project on a whole looks at building harmonious relationships between local and migrant Chinese in Singapore. And the difference, and, and romantic comedies as a genre, compared to just romantic dramas, are looking at resolving, so, um, building harmonious relationships through social, through social harmony as well. The, as mentioned before, the, the, because this is a design anthropology PhD, the methodology that I've chosen is a design anthropology one over media studies, media studies um, approach. Firstly, media studies looks at design and experience because um, media studies on, uh, as, it's, as a field looks at content, history, and the effect of media. Um, and the effect of media, of media as, on, as an experience and media itself as design. Design anthropology also looks at the design and experiences but it actually also looks at uncovering underlying values and redesigning these experiences in order to create more harmonious ones. And in relation to my, to my topic I'm looking at transcultural values of love, rom-com television shows as a design platform, and the experience of mate selection in order to create harmonious values for local and migrant Chinese in Singapore. In terms of my sampling, for my initial research, so the two stages of my research, but my initial research, I'm looking at snowball sampling and I'm looking to get about a hundred participants. Um, I've, broken, we've, I've broken down the, the reason why we're having a hundred is because each, in each group of local, locals, migrants, males and females, we want to make sure we get enough people for, so that the sample is strong enough and that we avoid sampling um, we avoid theoretical saturation as well at the same time. Um, and because um, with an even sample size, we're able to um, compare each group um, more accurately. Um, the other thing with my sample is the age group. We're looking at 20 to 30 year olds. The reason for that is because in rom-com television shows, these, this particular age group is highly represented 
and because of the commonality in terms of the viewership and the what's represented in the shows, this age group is the one that's been chosen. As mentioned earlier, there are two stages to my research process. Firstly, I'm looking at um, the first stage, which will be um, exploratory research. So I'll be conducting face-to-face -face interviews, participant observations, and participatory design focus groups. And for my evaluative research, I'll be looking at a qualitative survey. To get a better sense of my, my research, this is the timeline of how things are going to go. So next week on Monday, I'll be flying off to Singapore um, and I'll be starting my initial exploratory research, so my focus groups, my my face-to-face my -face interviews, my participant observations, and my focus groups. And then in September, which is three uh, after three months of my initial data collection, I'll be looking at analysis as well as building a design outcome. Um, the design outcome tentatively at this point in time is, as mentioned before, redesigning. So I'm redesigning what rom-com television shows might be and this will be uh, my version of <coughs> my take on it and it re will represent the themes that have, have come up from my initial research. And then the start of the evaluative research, which will start somewhere in December 2014, this will be testing out the, the themes that I've, I've, that I've uncovered and of course the design outcome which represents those themes as well. And to be able to qualify some of the data that I've collected through my, my, first, um, my first stage of exploratory research. And then I come back to Melbourne in, in March 2015. And then when that's done, I'll be back in Melbourne and I'll be doing the analysis of my data for about two months. And then I'll start writing and fleshing out the thesis as where as I go along. When that's done in December 2015, I should be able to send it to the editors for editing. And February, about a month before my stipend ends, <laughs> I am looking to hand in this thesis. In terms of feasibility, firstly, my ethics has been cleared just last week. Um, logistics for, for my research has also been finalized. I've received this, this camera from Swinburne to conduct my, my exploratory research. I've got funding in terms of my to pay my participants that has been collected and done as well. It's ready to go. Um, in terms of um, logistics such as, as, as food or or lodging, things like that. Because I am originally from Singapore, I will just be going back to my hometown and, and be living with my parents. So logistics, that's, that's everything that's settled as well. Um, and because I have a pool of contacts in terms of um, building my design outcome as a short film, that's also um, easily settled because of my contacts that I had previously made um, before coming over. Um, in terms of my methods, my design, my, my method protocols, in terms of my interview questions, they have been done as well. My consent forms have been, have been, uh, have been, have been finalized. Um, and last but not least, as why I've mentioned in this video, um, I've made in contact with my external supervisor at Nanyang Technological University, so Dr. Liu Kai-kun. He is um, in the social science department, mainly majoring in film and media. So just to quickly sum up, in terms of what this research topic is looking at, we're looking at values, design and experience. And for my topic, I'm looking at the values of love, transcultural values of love for, in terms of the Singaporean and Pan-Asian Confucius transcultural values. We get specific rom-com romantic comedy television shows as a design platform and the experience of mate selection which will bring up about harmonious relationships for local and migrant Chinese in Singapore. So that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.